Alright, what is up you guys? Because always welcome back to the Wife of Battle versus the Slayer God from um well the just me was uh, Battle Hub channel. It's gonna be of course always linked down below. Battle Hub is what it's called. Trying to find most of my games through there when possible. That said, the Flare God got besides one of the most awesome names when it comes to how he decided to spell that. Um, a really solid team with a lot of uh, flying mods and mods that I know can disrupt me quite well. Looking at like the Vivivlion and um, actually only Vivivlion. I hate that mod like a lot. It is one of those mods that just makes my day a bit longer. Um, but that said, it shouldn't be all too bad, I guess. I do not enjoy these type of mods, but I'll, I'll take it from there. With so many floaters and so many stackers, um, I should have a rough time. Like, if my opponent just rely on, on hazards alone, I'm probably screwed, but I also got two really solid uh, mods that can set up. You know, we got Vivillion, which of course can be able to sleep and quiver dance and hurricane, and then we got uh, Articuno, which can also do stuff I don't enjoy. We starts are really solid. This is a mana. I shouldn't say I fear, but I definitely fear. Um, gonna get my webs up early. Hope to exchange rocks with him. And uh, I do not enjoy any flare blast or whatever I would call <laughs> heat crash. Yeah, that probably ruins me actually. Nope, but I didn't enjoy it. I surely didn't. Do I need Viking Vault in this game? In theory, not really. Besides resetting. Um. Yeah, I. I go for minimalistic damage. Thing is, I probably can't save it anyway, so I happily just get some damage going on. He got the rapid spin. I kind of forgot this guy got it. That's kind of cool. That's not annoying. Not annoying at all. So probably Heat Crash, Rapid Spin, most likely Will-O-Wisp. So that's a combination I clearly don't enjoy a lot. Hmm. Question is, will it keep spinning? No, he outspeeds now, so that makes him a ferocious mod to deal with. Sending in Trust Trust. <laughs> Let's do it, buddy. <laughs> Probably won't be able to reset anything, but rapid spin twice, I shouldn't be able to outspeed here either. But yeah, like I was just gonna say, that's probably his main source of attack, and I am right now in that category where I think um, I should be very susceptible to uh, a Will-O-Wisp. So I'm gonna try to bait that. Am I though? Do wish cast work against anything of this? I mean, kinda, not really. Oh, we get the quake. Liquidation is great. Let's do that. Decides withdraw. That works. To Alteria, which is really solid. Quillfish is also. Why? That's like extremely scary proposition. <laughs> I like that though. I really do. Liquidation will do nothing on this. Uh, hurt by Rocky Helmet, go figure. So, hopefully has Toxic. Right? Or not Not hopefully, hopefully just as a, a stacker of spikes. I think a Dragon Dance here goes somewhat aggressive. It is fully defensive, so I am fearing the Toxic. Did not anticipate that speed, honestly. Let's see... Yeah, there it is. So, a good play here would be to switching Altaria, I'm sure. That's not great for me, of course. I should scare him out, though, a little bit. I so badly want to quake. We got so many options to me to not quake, right? Oh, I hate this. Fuck it. Please stay in. Yes! <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm sorry. Why? 
Not that he needed it, but rather a kind of surprise he decided to do it. It doesn't mean anything though if his Altaria is a Dragon Dance setupper, which is probably worst case scenario here. At least for me. Here it is. The Flare God sent out, well, what I would consider a god <laughs> in many ways. And a plus one, I'm really not scaring anybody. Switching in Keisha, hoping he can't Dragon Dance. Also seen like one of the coolest sets with Alteria is an assault of his variant fully special. It's kinda it's kinda weird, but I liked it. Perish song. Oh, it's a fire spin trapper. It's a fire spin trapper. That's actually kinda cool. That's really cool. Um clearly not ideal for me. I know what you're all about. Alright, let's see if we can get it in for free. Switch out Alteria, that's fair enough. Goes in two. Colossal. Alright, so he got the better of that trade, I'll say. <laughs> ah, I don't need to recalibrate how I want to go about this. A fully power eruption will do nothing. A focus blast could kill, but I could also miss. Which is not ideal. He's not gonna heat crash, that's for sure. Tross, tross, let's do this. It's kind of annoying. Like, he got Colossal all of a sudden. It's a very good defensive response for all the wrong reasons, I feel. Stuff rocks? Yeah, nothing to it. Could I risk the Focus Blast? Maybe. But should I? Also seeing these, these guys run Terra Grass just to kinda... Nope. This mon, which is by the way, infuriating to experience. But I think I go for easy liquidation. I know Altera is a switching. Um, But this is the back and forth we're gonna be leveling here. Honestly, I just I need to break through, right? So that's the annoying part. Not I, I probably are in the ballpark to be able to do something here, but I don't know. I don't know. It's like a perish trap this time. You can just straight up go for fire spin. I think I said all there is. I should be able to soak at least one. I'm kind of scared of Hurricane. But we close the name of that 10 minute Mars. I kind of need to get this game going. It's, it's the unfortunate part about the 20 minute timer. Like, we can defend check each other for a while for sure. Oh, we have Brave Bird. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> like, that's cool. I love that. <laughs> Alright, sitting in Keisha. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. <laughs> so I lost my spin block, by the way. <laughs> gonna get my rocks up. Will Wisp. And misses, which is kinda nice. I'm gonna try that one more time, right? So I think I fear he loses nothing by spinning here. Keeps Wispin, which is, like I said, fair enough. I'll just get the rocks out of the way and uh, see if I can uh, get something going with that in mind. Because now it's time to knock off. I was pretty sure he had like Perish Song, but alright. Or yeah, Perish Song, Brave Bird, Will O Wisp. I was convinced it was a full defensive with Fire Spin, but with this in mind, probably not. 
And since I am a supportive set with the Sand Slash, um, I'll just go for knockoffs. I think the Colossal comes in here. Here it is. That's the lad. Question is, is he boots? He is boots. But no more. But, like I said, I have no spin blocker, which makes this kind of rough. <sighs> he wouldn't heat crash here, would he? Let's find out. Like I said, trying to um, get this game going, I, I'm... There are too many defensive kind of stops, but you kind of get that with a good solid bulk team like this. So it's nothing against my opponent, he actually does what I would say the right play is to kind of keep not losing his momentum, right? And from my point of view, I mean, I clearly need to just break through. Battery depleted. No! Right, just gonna switch the controller. Articuno? Altaria, alright, sack play. Here we go. How much will this one do? Should still hurt, right? Nope. Or it's relative, but nope, really. Kinda surprised how well they took that. That's a fat bird. Question is, will I fall for the baits? I can still, like, pull this off and set up my rocks. We saw Braybird, Parish Song. Haven't yet seen, like, if he can roost. Which he should be able to do, by the way. Brave Bardo. Here we go. Nothing to it. Uh, this is like the worst scenario ever. Bruce, yeah, looks about right. I fear no man. But this also kind of means he has no offense to men. Like a Brave Bird and Perry song to be able to offend. It's not, it is just a defensive set, but the Braver clearly was enough to kill Trevenant, so <laughs> I don't know, kind of like this. We're clocking at 30 minutes now, it's like... <sighs> like I said, these are the worst case scenario where none of us really breaks through. Unless I stress play this, uh, I can't win. And that's not a, like the best type of scenario to be in. So let's see, the Ice Spinner shouldn't hurt like a whole lot. I did alright. He can't roost it off his so desires, but that means also means he can't beat me and I can't beat him. Um I hate these stalemates. I gotta keep going for it, hoping he decides to sack. No, he's gonna roost this off. Damn it. Thing is, like I said, he probably can't win this matchup. Uh, can I do anything? Anything to kind of get this going? I guess my Trevenant play kind of backfires as I lost my offensive edge. I gotta keep going for it. Please switch out, buddy. Nope, he's gonna do this. Could get a lucky crit, I guess, but yeah, this is not an um, ideal scenario for sure. Should I just make the knockoff play? Kind of feel that I do. He should switch out, right? Yeah. And we'll go into Mr. Sol himself. <laughs> So 
could just spin. 15 minutes. This is, like I said, the worst part of this. I kind of need this game to, like, go, right? But for that to happen, like, he's clearly gonna spin now. I think I'm solid if I just go for a facade. If he goes for rocks, I'm actually forced to spin. Which is not ideal. Yeah, spins. I just wanna spam eruption. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. I think facade is enough. He does decide to stay in. I'm kinda surprised about that. I won't deny it, I kinda am. <laughs> Dear God. Alright. So, with the remaining minutes, I have four minutes left. I'm gonna double down without the webs, see how far I get. But he didn't have any rocks up, so this is where I'm gonna just try to optimize myself. <laughs> it's clearly not ideal. Like that is a good rounded team, so there's really nothing to it. The problem is when you're making like Pokemon battles, like I do, um, you kinda need to break through somehow. So I feel that's a flaw with my team to not be able to pull that off. And, of course, Trevenant probably and should have been that very response. But we'll see how far I get with this in mind. I'm gonna double down on the absolute fire. <sighs> At least this kills, right? Yeah, nice. Looks about right. And now we're in 17 minutes. Oh, we're gonna see the trim the mark in time now. Here comes Alterium, which is not great. You can definitely soak a hit for sure. And I'm gonna make this easy on myself. Just get my rocks up and then recalibrate, right? Raybird, yep, that's all right. I really don't like this. I really don't like this. I hate not being able to break apart a team. Should I race the will o -Wisp? I mean, probably not. But at the same time, if I get rocks up, I negate any Sash that could be in this game. I actively kind of know also that if he switches out to Vivillion, which probably is Sash, then I'm screwed anyway. And I think that's what he'll do. Hiroyama. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot indeed. Alright, 18 minutes. Hey, are we not on a timer? I mean, if not, that's kind of great. It also means I kind of made it worse. There it is. Three minutes left. <laughs> I'm like, where is that? I need that note to tell me I'm screwed in a few seconds. Go for a knockoff, hoping he's Assault Vest. Right? Give it to me. Leftovers. I'll take that one too. Bulk up. Oh, buddy, just kill me already. Come on, you saw the minute mark. You know what you have to do. We gotta wrap this game up. I just want to see how far that eruption will take me. Come on, buddy. Oh, I'll speed. I already did it with knockoff, right? Frame punch? Nice. He's gonna fully recover from this. I think. Right? Yeah. So, my end game plan here is no matter what, go for eruption, see how far that takes me. He should be carry bullet punch, I think. Which could negate, like, the, the mass of my move. <laughs> the mass. But let's see how much the Flare God can deal with. Well, the, the Flare God himself. Worst joke ever. Come on, buddy. You're not gonna stall the time, are you? 
Don't tell me he's going to do that. Come on, man. Make it happen. Make it happen. I, I, I guess he's going to. He does decide to withdraw. So he's not stalling the timer. He's just switching momentum or something that is so pretty. Let's do this! Let's do this! Now, I'm unsure whether or not Articuno actually outspeed this set. He probably should. I can't remember Galar Articuno's speeds here. Here comes the Alteria! He's gonna lose a lot of damage on the way in. Nope, because he's boots. And I really have no reason not to switch out. Let's see how much damage could this have done if I've done this right. Come on, buddy! Nope. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. Come on, let's make one more move. Let's do this one more time. So this probably means, in contrast, that I think my opponent, in the long run, wouldn't have been able to win this. We do have Viker Vault, which is kind of nice for the endgame, but... I mean, my team is, you know, whittled down, like, a lot. So, he got the chance to break... Um, ooh, 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 it's cool, it's shiny! But it did lose my Eruption momentum, which, if we had a longer timer... Which we don't, I wouldn't have been able to optimize it. But we clearly aren't, and that's a very damn shame. Um, so yeah, to the Flare Guard, very much GG. Tough game for both of us with that bulk on both sides. Never really been able to break through. But I enjoy myself. I really don't know how I should have played to make this better, besides not get my Sandslash wisped. But really cool game. Hope you enjoyed this too, buddy. And hope to battle you very soon again. That said, as always, take care, one.